Welcome back to Rutgers Stadium. Neil Solon's you at the half of Rutgers Big East opener. Right now, BC leading the Scarlet Knights 10-0. And time now for our halftime interview. And if you're a fan of Rutgers, you appreciate the history of the Scarlet Knights. And my guest, Keith Gilman, is trying to preserve that. He's with Famous First, which is putting out a limited edition of print of the first game ever between Rutgers and Princeton. And Keith, thanks for joining us at the half. Thanks, Neil. Good to be here. First of all, talk a little bit about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Uh, I'm a huge Rutgers history uh, fan, and uh, I love the history of the school and the spirit of Rutgers. So uh, I decided to head to the Rutgers archives um, for a few days, and uh, I researched the first game, and I found a beautiful print by Arnold Freeberg that was painted in 1969 to commemorate 100, uh, 100 years of football. And um, I contacted the painter's company, and I uh, pitched them some ideas, and they did the same. And uh, they agreed to do 1,500 reproductions of the original, signed and numbered by the famous painter. And uh, I got the exclusive contract to sell it, so I decided to open a business called Famous Firsts. So this is a pretty entrepreneurial adventure by someone who I guess is just starting in the field. It is, Neil. I, uh, I graduated from Rutgers in May, and uh, since then I've uh, been doing a lot of research and a lot of marketing, and uh, so far it's going very well. Talk a little bit about how sales are going. You said you've put out 1,500 prints, and I guess you're trying to hope that all the Rutgers community buys it up and takes advantage of a chance. Absolutely. The initial reaction, Neil, was great. Um, fans are really supporting the item. Um, the holiday season is going to be huge for us, and uh, we're just going to keep our fingers crossed, and so far it's going very well. Now, are you a big sports fan in addition to being a big Rutgers history buff? I am. I love uh, especially Rutgers, uh, Rutgers sports specifically. Um, and uh, in, in general, I love sports, I love football, so it, it fit perfectly with me. Now, is this the first of many other ventures you're going to try in terms of uh, reprinting items? And talk about how difficult it was, if it was at all, to get this going. Uh, this, Neil, you know, this project was uh, not as difficult as I thought it would be. They, were, uh, they liked my attitude and they liked the enthusiasm I brought to the idea. Um, so they were, the company is Freeberg Fine Art, that's the painter's company in Utah. And uh, they were very, very uh, willing to help and... Uh, you know, they were very patient with me, and uh, I was the same with them, and, you know, it worked out very well. We're going to hopefully uh, put out some more pictures, some more prints of uh, different sporting events and different firsts. And uh, right now I'm going to research that and see, see how it goes. For now i got my hands full with this project. <laughs> Give me your thoughts first half of this football game. Uh, Rutgers looking okay. Not as, uh, not as sharp as it can be. We'll, uh, we'll come out strong. We'll win this football game, Neil. Now, for people who are interested in getting a copy of this print, talk about the cost, talk about where they can get it, how do they can get it. Sure. The print retails for $285 unframed, or um, what most people are doing is they're buying it straight, uh, straight from me framed with a beautiful NCAA commemorative medallion um, inside the frame, and that's $499. Um, and believe me, when you see the size of it and you see it, it's well worth its money. The size is 34 by 44 inches. Um, and uh, anybody that's interested can call uh, my hotline. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that number is 888-FAMOUS-8, and that's F-A-M-O-U-S-8. And uh, we're also linked off the Rutgers Athletic website. Um, you go to the athletic website at www.athletics.rutgers.edu, and you can scroll down and click on the first intercollegiate game icon on the right. And uh, I love to talk about the game. I love to talk about the picture itself. So feel free. Any questions you have, anything at all, just give me a call. Keith, thanks for joining us at the half. Thanks, Neil. It was my pleasure. That is Keith Gilman, our halftime interview, brought to you by Applebee's. Join them today for great food and fun at Applebee's Neighborhood Grill and Bar, conveniently located in Piscataway Town Center at Centennial Avenue and in Bridgewater at the new promenade on Route 28 across from Somerset Ballpark. At the half at Rutgers Stadium, Rutgers trails Boston College 10-0. Back with the second half with Bruce Johnson and Bob Herring in two minutes.